Well, hello everyone. This is Mary Teresa Duggan, and I'm a trained teacher, a certified breath practitioner, and the author of a book titled Miracles the Magic of Life, showing how the power of the breath can help people transform anything they want to change in their lives, whether it's to do with health, relationships, money, spiritual awareness, meditation, inspiring you to live and radiate your own truth, to live and radiate your divinity. And now I have here with me for this interview a lovely lady known as Dr. Sonika Krishan. Sonika is author and speaker in the areas of healthy and joyous living through Ayurveda, meditation, yoga and other contemplative practices. She helps people live holistically and joyfully by offering them solutions based on ancient Ayurveda wisdom which focuses on diet and lifestyle balance. She assists her clients in healing their mind, body and soul after understanding their unique needs. We would love to hear from Sonika herself and about her unique work. So it is with great pleasure and joy now that I introduce Dr. Sonika Krishan. Welcome Sonika. Hello, Mary. Nice to be on the show with you. Well, we're going to love hearing all about what you do, Sonika. So with all that experience and a whole lot more, how, how do you feel or what does it mean for you, Sonika, when you hear the words fullness of life? Uh, okay, Mary. When I listen to the words fullness of life, now, this appears to me to be living the life in the blissful state of, you know, complete and holistic approach living every single day. This would, you know, take care of being joyful, happy and energetic every moment. Having warm and committed relationship, giving and receiving unconditional love and uh, having abundance prosperity, success in all the ventures that you undertake, realizing the potential of being human. And I would say that being able to discover your passion and the very purpose of your life and always being grateful for the human experience that we are gifted with. But most of all, Mary, I would like to say that being a holistic healer myself, fullness echoes in my heart with the words wellness. That is to be well on the all arenas of physical, mental, spiritual, as well as emotional well-being. Right. Um, there was one word there I didn't get, Sonika. Um, fullness of life means, what was that word? Did I say holistic? Holistic approach, yes. that is complete approach to living every single day right. with comprehensive awareness in regards with all that I just uh, told you about. Ah, that was it, awareness, yes. So, can you ever remember a time when you didn't feel the fullness of life? Uh, yes, I guess there were times uh, earlier when I suppose I had expectations in mind towards no, acquiring the fullness in life. At this period of time, I can think that, uh, I can think it now, that although I had the knowledge, uh, but I was yet to acquire the wisdom, which came to me gradually with time, and uh, realizing the art of giving, sharing, healing, it brought in the abundance and fullness in all spheres of life now. Yes, yes, all spheres of life. Yes, that's, yes, it's it's like that, isn't it? The, the, the mental, the physical, the emotional, the spiritual, as you mentioned before. And if one is not doing enough or one is doing too much, we're out of balance with ourselves and the universe, isn't it, Sonika? Yes, 
Surely, surely. Yes. Everything is related, interrelated, definitely. Yes, yes. So when you were in that place where you didn't feel the fullness of life, how did you bring yourself back on track? When I discovered my own passion, actually, my passion, I find passion in writing, speaking, you know, providing consultancies, you know, mainly relieving the sufferings and, you know, sharing holistic uh, wisdom globally with uh, with the people, you know, with one and all. So that the whole, uh, whole Asian holistic healing sciences of India that I am uh, actually focused on, that is Ayurveda, yoga, spiritual healing, meditation. So I tried, I have been trying that it reaches out to heal the world and trying to create awareness and provide a substantial overview of healing the body, mind and soul while learning as I myself travel the journey every new day. So this is how I could get back on track and now I am on track towards the, the fullness towards life. Yes, yes. It, it's, it's wonderful. Wonderful when you know the way back, isn't it, Sonika? Sure. Yeah. It is a blessing. Itself. Yes, it's a blessing. So when somebody comes to you and they're really struggling with some kind of an issue in their lives, how would you handle that? Uh, I tend to help uh, the person by you know, what I believe that I'm good at and which comes to me naturally. I would uh, share relevant information with that person through my writings. They can discuss their issues with me through sending me an email and I get back with the needed assurance. And most of all, I try to help them to arouse the healer within. They have Everyone has the healer within, not without. So once, once you can tap into the healer and... Uh, tap into the energy of balancing the body, mind and soul. And if I can help in that arena, so I can of course help someone with a, uh, with struggling in their own life. Yes, yes. And isn't it a wonderful privilege, Sanika, when we're able to do that for even one person? Surely. Then you feel that you are being blessed with the human life, with, with being human actually, before mm -hmm. you are a human being yourself. Yes, and it amazes me too, Sonika, you know, no matter how many people we do, we feel so energized when we're finished. It's not a tiring thing at all, is it? No, it gives you all the energy. Yes, yes, it's wonderful. And so how do you choose to express and experience your abundance, your joy, your love, your energy? Uh, Mary, I'm a doctor myself and I'm a holistic healing coach. But uh, most of all, I feel uh, my comfort in expressing and experiencing my abundance through writings. So uh, be it through in books, articles, you know, columns in the magazines, in the newspapers, writing on the websites, in the blogs. And I'm blogging very often. I have my own blog, which I uh, love to blog. And also in taking up speaking assignments with uh, big and small organizations, institutions, and also publicly being connected with the people via social media. So that is how I, uh, I experience the joy as well as I express, I'm able to express this. And uh, I love spreading the virtue of uh, holistic healing wisdom. Yes, I can feel that. Yes, it's, a, it's yeah. a real passion you have, isn't it, Sameka? Definitely. This yeah. passion has turned the purpose for my life now. Yes. And I'm enjoying it every day. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> so what are you most excited about just now? Okay. I'm uh, excited about offering a world of healing through the natural healthcare wisdom, which is 5,000-year-old science of Ayurveda. This originates from my own country, that is India, and uh, it gives me all the more pride and you know privilege to be sharing the healing wisdom with the world. It feels like being an ambassador or an instrument to be holistically uh, living, supporting, and sharing the wisdom uh, with the world. And my focus is on preventive therapy, which is surely going to be the savior for existing.